everybody ain't able to sit at your table. You have to be very careful or who you call your so-called friends. You have to be very careful who you call your so-called family members. You have to be very careful because let me tell you something. God chose you for the mission. He didn't choose them. So everybody is not going to be able to sit at your table. Understand what I'm saying? And I'm saying this because I am actually experiencing it right now. Many are called by a few are chosen. Everybody thinks they're chosen. They're not chosen. Understand where I'm coming from. And when God has something special for you and God has ordained your life and God has anointed your life, people are going to envy you. People are going to be jealous of you. Understand where I'm coming from. But if God is for you, can nobody be against you? And now I'm experiencing a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy, a lot of hatred, you know, because God is moving in my life. So with that being said, I don't care if you if you don't like me. I don't care if you're jealous of me. I don't care if you are envy of me. You're not going to stop what God is doing in my life at the end of the day. You got to be careful of who's sitting at your table because just because they're sitting at your table doesn't necessarily mean that they're for you. Understand what I'm saying? Just because they're sitting at your table doesn't mean that they have your best interest at heart. Just because they're eating with you don't mean they're going to rock with you. They're going to ride with you. They're going to slide with you. That's not true. People know how to play the role. People know exactly how to pay the role. And like I said, if God is for you, can, can nobody be against you? Understand what I'm saying? People see that you are the chosen one. People see that you are succeeding in life. People see that you're going to a new level in life. No weapon formed against you will prosper, chosen ones. Every tongue that rises up against you, chosen ones will be condemned in judgment. You just keep doing what God has ordained you to do. You just keep moving in the spirit and in the fear and the admission of the Lord. Understand what I'm saying? And... I'll tell you about one of my experiences. I was going out to eat with a family member. And we would go out to eat every single Sunday. I understand where I'm coming from. Every single Sunday when we got to church, that's what we do. We just go out to eat. You know, we go out to fellowship. We go out to uplift one each other. We go out to encourage one another. I understand what I'm saying. And today, I went to that family member and asked her, what are we doing? Are we going out to eat or what, what's going on? She told me, I'll think about it. <laughs> but this, uh, this is the person that I told my goals and my dreams to. You have to be very careful who you tell your goals and your dreams to. Everybody is not for you. Understand what I'm saying? Everybody do not have your best interest at heart. You got to be very careful who you tell your goals and your dreams to. Because people pray against stuff like that. People start to be jealous of you. People will start to be envy of you. Especially when it comes to the light. Understand what I'm saying? Especially when God is making it come to pass. You can't tell everybody your goals, your visions, and your dreams. Understand what I'm saying? And this particular family member, you know, I would always go out with her. We would eat and take pictures. And we would laugh and fellowship. And come to find out she didn't want to go out to eat with me today talking about I'll think about it <laughs> you don't tell the chosen one you think about it understand what I'm saying when you are called and when you are chosen to do God's will people are going to envy you people are going to hate you for, for whatever reason understand what I'm saying but I serve a God who sits high I serve a God who looks low understand what I'm saying I serve a mighty God and what a mighty God that I serve understand what I'm saying and if God is for me, can nobody be against me? Understand what I'm saying? You have to blot out all kind of distractions. You have to blot out all kind of jealous people, all kind of envy people that's trying to come into your life and take what God has given you. No weapon formed against you guys will prosper in the name of Jesus. I'm going to say a prayer for the chosen ones because we are going on a higher level. It's just it, the Bible says man shall always pray and not lose sight. You don't know. People true intentions is of you. You don't know their motives. You don't know if they really like you or not. You don't know if they jealous of you or not. You don't know if they like you or not. You don't know if they riding with you or they sliding with you. But I'm gonna tell you something right now, sweetheart. You, I can ride solo bolo all by myself and I will be happy just as I am right now. 
Understand what I'm saying? I, I don't have to go out to eat or to a fancy restaurant to fulfill my happiness. As a matter of fact, I can go right through Burger King drive through and give me a nice little $5 combo and just be just as happy. Understand what I'm saying? Because what God has for me is just for me. And people can't stand you because God chose you for the mission. Understand what I'm saying? People will be jealous of you and envy of you because they see the light in you. They see the light surrounded by the darkness. They know that God has called you. They know that you are chosen. Understand what I'm saying? So you have to be separate. You have to come out from amongst them because guess what? Ain't no devil in hell going to take me off my grind for the Lord. Understand what I'm saying? Ain't no devil in hell go take me off of my goals of my dreams my ambitions because god is really really doing some things in my life and i can't ride with people that is jealous of me i can't ride with people that is envy of me i can't ride with people that don't have their best interests at heart for me understand what i'm saying yes i might give love to others i might talk to other people i might be encouraging and motivative i, I can do all that for people but what is not return until you, you start to realize, you start to think about stuff, you start to pray, you start to ask God, please, please, please don't help me not to, uh, you know, please take away what's not for me, Father God, please, oh God, don't let nobody come in my life that's not for me, in the name of Jesus, because at the end of the day, I want all that God has for me. I understand what I'm saying. So I need everybody to subscribe to this channel. I need everybody to like this video. And I need everybody to comment 1111 below. Because what the devil meant for evil, God going to always turn it out for our good. You just keep doing right, guys. You just keep lifting up the name of Jesus. You just keep being humble and being loving and being cordial to everybody and treat everybody with kindness. But at the end of the day, let me let you know something. Everybody ain't able to sit at your table. Understand what I'm coming from. You have to be careful of who you're going out to eat with. You have to be careful of who you sharing your, your dreams and your goals with. Understand what I'm saying? Because the devil is always thinking to whom he may devour. Just because people go to church don't mean they save. Just because people sing in the choir don't mean they save. Understand where I'm coming from. Just because people teach Sunday school lessons, understand what I'm saying, don't mean they save. Like I said in my previous videos, oh, those demons going to eventually come out. Oh my God, them true colors going to eventually show. Eventually that devil is going to come out and it came out. And it's funny because in my spirit, I knew this about her and I'm not afraid to, you know, you know, talk about the situation at hand because I'm telling you, I'm actually experience, experiencing these situations right now. Understand what I'm saying? Because this person don't really hit me up. Don't really call me like that. Understand what I'm saying? And I already knew she was going to act funny when I asked her, oh, we're going out to eat today. I knew it before she'd even start acting funny. I knew it. She was acting funny inside of the church. Understand what I'm saying? She was acting real funny, but it's okay though, because I still love you in the Lord and she know exactly who she is. So I'm going to continue to pray for you. I'm going to continue to lift you up. You know, I'm happy for you. But at the end of the day, you ain't able to sit at my table. Understand where I'm coming from. You got to start putting people in their place. I could have put her in her place right there, but it's a time and place for everything. I just got out of the house of worship. You know what I'm saying? I went up to her and said, hey, auntie, what are we doing? Are we going out to eat? What's up? What are we going? What, what, what we? I'm going to think about it. Oh, you're going to think about it. Go ahead and think about it. <laughs> See, people, they start feeling some kind of way when, you, when you're going up. Understand what I'm saying? People start to feel some kind of way when you're on a higher level, when you're on a higher frequency. See, people, it's, it's not that people don't want you doing good. It's that people don't want you to do better than them. Understand what I'm saying? And I'm not ashamed to tell people how I really feel. But at the end of the day, God told me to, you know, to be humble. Bite your tongue, son. Be humble because I'm taking you to newer places, newer heights. Understand what I'm saying? God will bless you in front of the people that mocked you. Understand what I'm saying? God will truly bless you in front of the people that mocked you. And people wonder why I venture off or I'm always by myself. I don't hang around with a large crowd. People wonder why, you know, I, I'm always sticking to myself or I'm always, you know, it's just me and God at the end of the day. It's just me and the Lord because I can't trust nobody out here. I can't trust people out here. You don't know where people are really coming from. You got to put on a whole armor of God out here, guys, so that we can withstand the fiery darts of the devil. Devil, you go back to the pits of hell to where you belong because you don't have no dominion or power over my life. In the name of Jesus, I am more than a conqueror. Hallelujah today. Bless his holy name. And what the devil meant for evil, God will always turn it out for my good. Understand what I'm saying? These people see that you're changing. They see that the glow is real. They see that you're glowing up. You're blowing up. Understand what I'm saying? And they mad because they not blowing up. They mad because they not glowing up. They mad because God didn't chose them for the mission. Understand what I'm saying? 
But it's okay though. I still love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Because I need WTC Gang to back me up right now. And if any one of these messages resonate with your spirit, give a brother a thumbs up. Understand what I'm saying. And devil, you ain't going to do anything. You don't have no authority. You don't have no dominion in the name of Jesus over my life. You go back to the pits of hell with your ugly self. I understand what I'm saying. Somebody put back in the co somebody put in the comments, go back to the pits of hell to where you belong, devil, because you definitely don't belong up in here. Understand what I'm saying? I want to say shout out to the ones that subscribe to my channel, baby, because guess what? While the devil acting funny, we done made it to 205 subscribers. <laughs> While the devil acting funny, we done made it to 205 subscribers. So I appreciate every each and every one to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel because, like I said, it gets realer and realer and realer. And I'm not going to have WTC gain out here lost and found. Understand what I'm saying? God has put this dream and this vision in my mind, in my heart, in my spirit, and I'm going to make this vision. I'm going to make it plain. Understand what I'm saying? He gave me the vision and I'm going to make it plain. It's all about God's grace and his mercy. That was the word today in church. It's all about God's grace and his mercy. If it wasn't for the Lord who was on our side, we would not be here, guys. Understand what I'm saying? So why you acting funny with people? Why you acting funny with this person and that person? Guess what? Tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. People are dropping like flies. Understand what I'm saying? People are out here literally dropping like flies, guys. People are passing away with the loss of a breath, with the twinkling of an eye. People are are, are passing away. One of the ministers said, you know, because he's a funeral director at the church, and he said, I got three or four funerals a day to attend to a day. Understand what I'm saying? People are dropping like flies. Understand what I'm saying? But God, if God is for you, can nobody be against you? We shall live and not die. Understand what I'm saying? And I'm starting to get st still seeing a couple of negative comments in, in, you know, in my comments below. But I'm praying against all negative comments in the name of Jesus. If you don't have nothing nice to say, please don't say it at all, guys. I appreciate the positivity. I appreciate the subscribes. I appreciate the likes and I appreciate the comments. But some people just, they just want to say something negative because they see God is doing something new in you. I will block you if you being negative up in my, in my, on my channel. I don't got time for no negativity because God is doing a new thing in my life and he's definitely doing a new thing in WTC game life because we are the chosen one, baby, whether you like me or not. Understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm just trying to get to you guys. Everybody ain't able to sit at your table. You have to be very careful. You have to ask God to give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who's for you and who's not for, and who's not for you. Everybody not for you. Everybody not, not going to have your best interest at heart. People are going to envy you. People are going to be jealous of you. You have to know these things. We are in spiritual warfare right now. This is all spiritual warfare. Understand what I'm saying? And I knew she was going to be acting funny. I knew she was going to act funny. Once the church let out, I already knew it. I already knew it. But it don't even matter because guess what? I am the chosen one. I know what God is doing in my life. So you can go back to where you belong, devil. Go back to the pits of hell because we're not wrestling against people, guys. We're wrestling against flesh. No, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're wrestling against uh, principalities, guys. Understand what I'm saying? We're wrestling against spiritual weaknesses in high places. Everybody want to be on that certain level. God not going to take you on to that certain level if you jealous of somebody. God not going to take you on that certain level if you envy somebody or you wish somebody, you know, don't make it or you wish and bad upon people. Understand what I'm saying? God ain't going to allow you to get to that level. And people wonder why they still stuck, you know, in the situation they stuck in. People wonder why you made it out of a place they still stuck in. Watch my previous videos because I'm speaking the real. I'm not just doing these videos just to be doing them. Understand what I'm saying? I'm going hard today, baby. Because what the devil meant for evil, God will turn it off for my good. People are still mad and jealous because you made it out of a place they still stuck in. People are still stuck. They're lost. They're mentally and, and emotionally drained. Understand what I'm saying? But that's for another topic for another day. And I just want to say, if you need a friend, oh, you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you have a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you have the best motivational speaker in myself. Understand what I'm saying? And I'm not going to let no devil in hell get to me, get to my spirit in the name of Jesus. Because I'm going to be honest with you. It hurted me when she did that funny stuff. That's not the only time she act funny with me. You have to be careful of who you surround yourself around. You have to be careful of who you, who you invite in to come eat with you at your table. Everybody can't go to the promised land. But it's okay, though. 
You got to love people from a distance. It's okay to love people, but love people from a distance. Everybody is not able to be in your presence, chosen ones. We are chosen. And no devil in hell is going to stop the chosen ones. In the name of Jesus. Because every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I don't think I'm better than the next person. I don't think I'm holier than thou. No, because we're all human. Nobody is perfect. We're all human trying to get to the glory of God. That was the word today. You know, the, you know, the pastor said, you know, sometimes we might get boastful. We might get prideful. We might think we all that in the bag of Doritos or the bag of chips. But guess what? God's grace and mercy is why the reason why we're here today. Understand what I'm saying? If it had not been for him, we wouldn't even be here. We was on our way to hell. Understand what I'm saying? We was on our on our way to the, to a burning lake of fire because we were living in sin. And if God never had sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, we'd be in hell right now, burning for eternity. That should be a reason for you to shout. That should, that should be a reason for you to praise his holy name. But we rebuke the devil on every hand. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise because if it had not been for you who is on my side, I wouldn't be here right now. Thank you for my subscribers and my viewers and the people that are liking and the people that are believing in 1111. Continue to bless their lives over and over and over again, Father God. Continue to bless them financially, spiritually, emotionally, um, um, uh, mentally, Father God, in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against us will prosper, Lord. We come unto you, Lord, because you said cast all our cares for you because you care for us, Lord. Continue to build us up where we are torn down. Help us to be humble and loving and kind and patient, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because we are Already know the enemy is on attack so that makes us you know we have to be a little bit more ready father god because we know the enemy is ready to attack at any given moment you said you said man should always pray and not lose sight and i thank you for all that you have done all that you are going to do father god i pray that you will show me who's for me who is not for me father god reveal it to me oh god in the name of jesus bless everybody out there that's going through these covid 19s these delta variants these diseases we counseled out every disease in the name of jesus go back to the pits of hell to where you belong you have no no power or dominion over God's children, over God's chosen ones in the name of Jesus. And we be so careful to give you the praise, the glory and the honor as we look up to the hills from which come with our help, knowing that our help coming from you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against every negative spirit, every negative energy. We come against every foul spirit of the devil. In the name of Jesus, we're praying for breakthrough right now. In the name of Jesus, break every chain right now. In the name of Jesus, break every chain. In the name of Jesus, it's the anointing. Fill us up with the anointing. It's the anointing that destroys every single yoke. My God, my God, my God. So I'm praying for the ones that need prayer. I'm praying for the ones that really love you, Father God, because there are some people out there that really love you. Some people out there want to throw in a towel, God. I pray, oh God, they won't throw in a towel. I pray they won't commit suicide because guess what? If I can make it, they can make it too. I done came from the pit to the palace and I know what you can do for me. And if you had done for me, you can do for other people as well. And we just love you, Lord. And we give you all the praise. Forgive us for all of our sins. If you find anything that's in us that should not be, Father God, please take it out right now in the name of Jesus. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And all these many blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. We the chosen ones. Go.